Hello scummers, and welcome to another video from Hive Scum Thoughts. I, as always, am Hive Scum Steve, and today I'll be talking about SumpCon 4, an event that I created and run in conjunction with tabletop events in Belper, which, as you'll guess from its number, is the fourth time that we've run one of these events, and they've just been getting bigger and better each time, in my opinion. I've had to wait for a week to get this video sorted because my body, mind and, well, voice needed this much time to recover. So apologies for the delay in getting this to you. I'm going to keep it simple and not edit the video you're about to watch because I'm having to do all of the editing from my phone and the new PC should hopefully be coming at the end of the year. Uh, I can't wait to get started with editing on some equipment that has decent processing power. So, first up, this is a video that I shot on Saturday the 19th of October 2024. I've done these videos before where I've shown you around the venue, but I've always done them to Facebook Live, and as a result, I've lost the files. So I decided to actually film it on my phone this time, and so hopefully it'll be better quality too. Anyhow, I hope you enjoy the video, and I'll be back again at the end. Hi everyone. Uh, I'm a little bit late in the day for this one because I know that there's other people that have been uh, putting out videos and pictures of SumCon already. But every year I tend to put out a video live on Facebook and I then lose the video in Facebook somewhere and, and can't find them again. So I thought I'd just record this one. Uh, I probably won't bother editing it though, but let me take you around and show you what's happening. Uh, before we go in there though, because it's very loud, you won't be able to hear this, um, we've had uh, a, a venue expansion is probably the best way of putting it so we've had an extra 20 people come down this year so we had 60 goodie bags to sit down and sort out and uh, we've got a whole extra room which has got custom scenarios in there we've got other game systems uh, that people have brought in to allow all the scummers here to try something else other than necromunda because i mean especially towards the uh, sunday of this event you can again get a little bit necromunda out um so anyway let me show you what's going on in here so those of you that have seen this before will know that this is what was previously just sunk on however we've now got this room over here uh, we've brought down a couple of little artifacts as I'm calling them so this some of you may remember was Leonard Dimes interpretation of the Sunset Radio Shack so we've brought that along so people can have a look at it uh, People might recognise Mickey No Pants from previous years as well. <laughs> We've had Cy Dudley bring down a Necromunda themed version of a game called Full Tilt, which is about jousting. And we've got the classic bar brawl scenario. And then, certain people will know what this is because I have not stopped going on about it recently. This is the Cyberpunk Red Combat Zone game that Richard from Shiny Games is demoing for everyone. And if someone does watch this video who is at some point, I do highly recommend that you give this a go. It is a lot of fun. Then we've got Carnival, which Dan's brought down for everybody to give a go. And then his train heist scenario. And then I got High Storm, which is the Ashway's Rack Creek. So it's got the prize of going to the Rack Gun. It's a group, isn't it? Yeah. That's it. That's my guys. And then I've just got the, you know, the thing with the mono launcher. Uh, just for clarification as well, those all on quads, are they outriders? Uh, no, this is just this is just bikes, gangers with bikes. Uh, what about the the quad? Is that the quad? Is that or... Another addition that we've had this year is a painting station. So again, if fatigue kicks in, people can just come and chill out in here for a bit and paint up some of their stuff. In this back room, we have the uh, was it King of the Spire scenario, or Claim the Spire as I think they renamed it. But yeah, and they've got to get from down here all the way 
<laughs> I do not know if anyone's actually managed that today. Clearly someone's been in here though. Right, you'll see what I mean about the noise now. Okay, so if you can still hear me, which I hope you can, this is a board which has been brought down by Alex from Twisted Prints UK, who also supplied 3D printed items like Scatter Terrain and, and bits like that for the goodie bags. I mean, look at the attention to detail on this. and I'll just go around the rest of the boards now he takes a place with from the road there's so many fucking yeah. beasts Okay. How do I play this? What is the right move here? 
Is your what's the nuisance on your Okay, I am just gonna Yeah, man, he's so good. Thank you. Pressure at the old murder brawl arena. Your third, sir. And last, but certainly by no means least, Dan's board, who has brought this down for a number of years now. Thank you. 
Let's move outside again. Oh, and there's Ed. <laughs> Hi, Whoa, that's a bit close. There we go. That's better. Okay, so there we go. Uh, that is the now expanded version of Sumpcon, Sumpcon 4. And uh, I think you could probably hear better than me in there. Um, it seems that everyone's having a really good time, which I'm really grateful for, because a um, little story for you. I was here till half one in the morning, helping Ed and Alistair and Gina prepare the venue. They were here longer than me. They were here, so I think Alistair's case, he said it was like quarter to five and Ed was here longer. I don't think Ed's actually slept, slept since yesterday. Um, so yeah, they put a hell of a lot of work into preparing this venue for everyone. Um, I think it shows. I, I, I think everybody here is, is having a really great time. I mean, obviously I might be a little bit biased on when you, you'd think, wouldn't you? But no, I, I, everyone genuinely seems to be having a really good time and honestly, that's the important thing. So anyway, um, I, because this one's recorded, we're not going to lose this one because I'm going to have a backup copy of it somewhere. So I will put this up on the socials as soon as I can, uh, maybe this evening, um, if I do it un unedited. I might have to bring the size of it down a little bit. You can tell I'm tired. Anyway, thanks for watching this and uh, see you later. Bye. So that was the newly improved venue. Next up, Ed from Tabletop Events was kind enough to send me a video that he took whilst we were doing the prize giving on the Sunday 20th of October at 2pm. A little context for you, I asked everybody who attended SumpCon to fill out a Google Form survey after their games on Saturday to help me and my partner Adele and community legend Craig Gale work out how to divvy up the prizes we had been sent from many generous sources who I'll share in the links below. Uh, responses that we got from your forums last night. Um, I say that kind of jokingly, but seriously, reading all of the responses that we got was like very humbling and overwhelmingly positive. Not just about us and the event, about all of you lot from all of you lot. Like sharing those anonymously on the groups uh, like Discord and Facebook and stuff so that you can share in the feeling that I had reading it. Okay, because I think that's only fair. So, let's get on with the actual awards. So, the, uh, the most games played. So, this, a lot of these are going to require a little bit of audience participation because the Google Forms are not quite as good as I thought they were going to be <laughs> in presenting the information in a way that I can actually use it. So, hands up if you played five games or more. Yesterday. Right, yes. Just yes, yesterday. Yes, just yesterday. Just this yesterday. is just on your responses from yesterday. Okay. Out of the people that have got your hands up, is there more, more than five? So, six games. Yesterday, I'll just yeah. Yes. Seven games. Oh, so we've got a draw on yes. six. I, I know. I've got, I've got five. You've got five and six. Yep. Okay. So six. We have a win. Yeah. Yeah. We, we do have a system for draws. It's not as exciting as fight to the death with a pencil. Craig has the money's phone. Right, so whilst that is being organised, we shall move on. How many games lost? Okay, we're expecting there's going to be lots of numbers on this. Right, so again, if you have lost five or more games, put your hand up. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Most out of action.
actions received. So this is your gang getting fucked up. So, um, we are gonna, now, I put, Craig, remind me, what was the maximum number I put on this? Was it like 20? You put 24. 24. Do I count as one? Okay, so Craig um, made me had to rethink this. Uh, so we're gonna start at, who had 50 out of actions or more? 40. Craig is part of the team as far as we're concerned, so we're going to keep going down. Oh, 30 oh, or more. 20 or more. Is it just Craig? Hang on, is it? <laughs> <laughs> is anybody else actually numbers? Is it 10 or more? Okay, right, okay. this is going to get more interesting. Uh, 50 or more out of actions. 16. There we go! 17, 18, 19, 20, we have a time. Oh! 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 Again, we're going to start quite high, so uh, 50 or more, 40, 30, 20, 10, oh. 15, 16, 16, 16. Oh, 15 I think it's 15. Yeah, 15. Wait, 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 was it 15 or 16? 15. Already. Was there anyone else with 15? No, no. Oh, okay, well, I can't show you. Sure. <laughs> when we work Fantastic. out this next one, I'm going to be curious rough. to know what gang it was going to be. So, most out of actions inflicted. So, we're going to go from 50. 50 or more. 40. 30. 20, oh. no. 21, 22, 23, oh. Harley, we have a winner. Yeah. Yeah. How many? 25. 35. 25. 25. This one's linked to the theme of the event that I came up with. We're using a copyright free IP. Um, so, uh, most anomalies captured. So, apparently, someone put on the form that they had captured eight. That was you? Anybody beat eight? Uh, anomalies. No? You won a prize. Yeah, double, double help. <laughs> Got to catch them all. Right. Okay, so, um, how many people played Carnival? Put your hands up if you played. If it's who beat Dan, both of us. Uh, that's actually going to be oh, shit. So, uh, who won? We have a draw situation, and thus we enter into our first round of uh, instant death rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> So, Craig, if you can adjudicate that. I've, I've already got my... He's already forfeited. Oh, oh, he's already forfeited? Oh, because he's... There you go. I've got, I've got the forfeited. Please do have the... Oh, he's got... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. 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 One of us. I swear, there's three of us in the country. And what's that team? He is now. Oh, no. Right, so we now get into the section that we have labelled as slightly vague award section. <laughs> <laughs> because it was a bit, a bit interesting how we had to come up with some of these. So, the uh, best how was your day answer award. Uh, and I will read out verbatim what this answer is. And if it is yours, put your hand up and we will sort you out with a prize once I finish reading. So it was... I've screamed Emperor's prayers so much that my voice is gone. Yes. <laughs> wait, 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 there's more. My body tattered, but it was so much fun. <laughs> was that intended to be a haiku? No, it's it's really really like a haiku. <laughs> right, well, we've then got the New Blood Award. Um, so essentially, overly enthusiastic player who's pretty no, 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 new no. to the game. No, what? Not overly, appropriately enthusiastic. <laughs> I thought overly was appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Best oh. of the best. So, um, that is Jack. Hello. Yeah, I, 
we might be able to guess what that was. Oh. Right, okay. Um, this oh. one oh. is... We hope we don't sell on eBay later. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't put it on eBay, please. <laughs> Appreciate it for what it is. It is, it is a gift, okay? Oh. Right, uh, best supporting scummer is Ree. <laughs> right, the Scummer's Choice uh, Award for Best Game. We've actually got several winners for this one. So we have Hive Market Minis. <laughs> AKA Man. Um, now this one I've got to go by the, uh, the description of the gang. The Gang of Rats. <laughs> You, sir, got several mentions from different people. Wait, 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 wait. Angus. Yeah. Right, and then an outcast gang, just to add a little bit of anticipation, do it in reverse, by someone beginning with R, Roscoe. Choice Award for Best Gang Concept. Um, that goes to Lee. <laughs> we like the idea, the theme of the gang, and we also like the idea that you are forcing minis onto yeah, other I've players as well to give them an advantage so over your own awesome. gang. Awesome. You can tell he's from Big Six. So we then had the Best Game in Moment Award, and there's two for this one, but ironically they were both themed around Juve, so we've renamed it as the Kids Aren't Alright Award. <laughs> <laughs> so I will, I will read out the, the responses we had for this as to why we then gave it out. My juve exploding with a prayer and knocking everyone off the cargo truck. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know how this one went down, so please tell me later on. Um, my Esha Jew taking out an Oris Spira in close combat. <laughs> this one perhaps requires a little bit further explanation than I have the full details for, but we have decided to call this the Toy Story Award. <laughs> Some of you know where I'm going with this already. So apparently one of you, on your way to your accommodation last night, decided to drive oh. home, taking your gang with you, but letting them ride on top of the car. Oh. <laughs> At which point, you got to the accommodation, realised what the fuck you'd done, and then it was like, where the fuck are my minis? Now, I don't know the rest of the story, other than that they did find their way back home to the owner. So we like to think that they managed to drag themselves back. <laughs> Hence the name of the award. So, whoever that was, make yourself known. There he is! <laughs> It was all. Well, actually, Orlock, a bunch of resin for Forge World, and Dark. Oh, oh. Well, so. to help them out, you've now got a, a, a whole full, fully painted gang of enforcers, courtesy of Dan, to protect <laughs> them. Correct me if I'm wrong, you've said that you will actually uh, try and repair them. Yeah, I'm going to try and rebuild yeah. and repair them and get them back to you. Because apparently they got run over a few times. Oh. Right, okay. Yeah. Cool, right. Sweep the oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, the next award is called the Dog Must Live Award. <laughs> so I shall, this is a, a more of a summary than a direct quote. So essentially, Austin's dog 
who in one game tanked through 13 different attacks from various weapons, nice. including bolt guns and webbers, and still made it out alive. <laughs> so Austin, your dog gets you a prize. <laughs> Events, you won't know what Austin's nickname is. <laughs> Austin the Child Killer. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me explain that to you if you're interested. <laughs> what we're going to present with you okay. is a free original piece of artwork from Carl. Okay. Cool. It can be of anything you choose, but we thought a heroic dog. So, the next one we've simply titled the Tortoise Award, and you can come ask us later on if you're not sure as to why that is. But that's for Graham. Graham clearly needs an explanation, he's looking very confused. We then have an award called the Uno Reverso Award, and that is for Alex. This one I will explain. Um, Alex is uh, the guy from Twisted Prince UK, yes. and he is the one who put all of the train pieces. Well, he didn't physically put them in, I did that, but he, he, he supplied all the train pieces for you, so I thought we'd give him some train. Hey. <laughs> some of you are going to know what this next award is instantly. The Walking Billboard Award goes to Simon Parr. <laughs> uh, because he's literally got Sun City Radio tattooed on his body. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Right, I've made a new tattoo. Where's the tattoo? Yeah. Where is it? It's just on his. Thank you very much, guys. Right. 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 <laughs> We now move on to the Well Travelled Dome Runners Award, and this is a split award, it's a four way one. So, this is between, and four names before we get to the end so, Harley, uh, Matt from Hive Market Minis, Johannes, and Sean Hack. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he couldn't be here in person for obvious reasons, uh, but Spaniel, uh, he also Spaniel, Spaniel, is an absolute darling. And wait, he's still not done. A lovely guy, and every time he goes to play in his one, which I think is Arcus, isn't it? The high bar, which one he plays down there, he always ends up winning good sport. So we thought we'd have an award in his honour. So it's the Spaniel Award for Good Sports, and this goes to a couple of people. So let me read these out. So the these are going to be read out Very verbatim, lovely. and this, the prizes that will be given out are for the person who wrote it and for the person that it is mentioning. Okay, so, I will, so if you can hold applause right to the end so I can just read through these. Um, Alex F. <laughs> telling me, don't shoot his whole gang on the ridge hauler with my flamer. Then, <laughs> then he turns around and kills my ganger with a flamer. <laughs> In response, I got to my other exterminator and then burn his whole gang from the back of his truck. <laughs> Vindication! <laughs> In all caps. We then have... Hang on, and you get to pick another one. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, is uh, customs going to stop you on the way back for the yeah, extra sure. ones? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, right. Sean from Once Upon a Kill Team. He was my first opponent, and we didn't have a scenario yet, but we did have an SCP monster. So our whole game was just fully in the spirit of Necromunda and this community, where we both just came up with a scenario <coughs> together on the fly, resolved any discrepancies reasonably, keeping in mind that we were trying to have fun, and we took both um, we both took photos for each other and had a great time. We are getting into
into a territory of not being mentioned within single messages now. So all names mentioned and people who wrote it, please come up. So, James and Graham. James for his phenomenal gaming spirit and persistence, but also Graham for his patience and guidance so that not only he, but his friends can also really enjoy the game. Absolutely great, guys, and a good laugh. So let me let me get the, <clears throat> the grammatical. Pete, absolutely Pete, a gem of the community and a delight. Also Dan, Dan and Pete, Deet. <laughs> I think the wall's saying that. <laughs> right, okay, so we, that, we're approaching please? the end now. So who wrote, hang on, who wrote that, please? Who wrote that? Ooh. Ooh, sorry. Please come on. There you go. You get another prize then, Graham. I like that you can hear the train of thought in that one as well. <laughs> Deep to the end. Right, okay, so um, this is the last one of that particular category award. So it is some great moments playing Ruby and her squats. Just really good attitude to playing and a great laugh. So we move on to the last one. Uh, this is the Community Hero Award. So, most of you will know this guy already, um, simply for the fact that he has supported the community since pretty much day fucking one. Um, he has supplied artwork for free, so I, I don't even know how many fucking times. All the poster sheets. Where is he? There he is. All of the fucking poster sheets. Not only the poster sheets he's given out, which are also in the goodie bags, by the way, if you've not seen them yet. Um, he's done that for multiple years. You've supplied artwork for free to supplements for loads of different people, including your own supplement as well, which, you know, go, go down like that, please. Um, and it's all completely for fucking free, whilst dealing with fucking awful health issues. Um, just a fucking legend, guys. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some City Radio Corpse Grinder Cooking Club t shirts. <laughs> <laughs> which I can't sell for legal reasons. So, uh, I might give that design out for free if you want to get them yourselves, because I fucking love that one. Anyway, that brings us to the end of the awards. I'm sorry for eating into so much of your gaming time. I think I'm actually going to try and get a game in this weekend now, if I possibly can. Hey, but that's it. Don't enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you yes. so much for coming. So, can we get a round of applause for Steve and Dan? Craig, Ed, from you as well. <laughs>
Hello again. So as you've seen, this community not only has a love for the game of Necromunda, but a whole lot of love for each other as well. Which is why personally I think that the Necromunda community is the best one that Games Workshop has for any of its products. The event this year was crazy, physically bigger and the most people that we've ever had. The event was also bigger in scope because we had people bring their boards for others to play on and in one instance we had a board come from overseas just so that our community could play on it here at Sumpcom. And that is due to JD in the Sump Sea sending a board over from America for us. So big shout out to them, thank you so much for your support guys and please everybody who's watching this video go check them out, the links will be in the description below. The event was bigger in its reach as well because we amazingly we had people not only come from across the whole of the UK to play but from America, Amsterdam and Germany as well. We also nearly had someone to come from France but the tickets got cancelled last minute with good reason I understand. It's been pointed out to me that this might now be the biggest Necromunda event not only in the UK but possibly the world. I can't verify that claim, but can you imagine? That's as equally exciting as it is scary. There will be another SumpCon, and ideas for SumpCon 5 are already underway. And also, worth mentioning, tickets for Sump Wars 2 have now gone up for sale from tabletop events. So, Sump Wars is a much more basic chance to meet up with the community, build some dirty 3,000 point lists for a weekend long Iron Man campaign, and have our gangs bludgeon each other in horrible ways until there is nothing left but greasy stains. All while somehow doing it within the light hearted spirit that we've come to expect from the Necromunda community. So, if you'd like to get a taste of these events, now's your chance to book one of those in. Sumpcon 5 tickets will probably also go live in May time 2025, just after Sump Wars 2 goes live. And it's currently penciled in for the 18th and 19th of October 2025, so keep your eyes peeled, and if you need a good lead up time to block those dates out, now you know. Thanks for watching, and if you want to hear me talk more about Sumpcon, it'll no doubt come up in the next episode of my podcast, Sump City Radio. Until then, I am Hive Scum Steve, and these have been my Hive Scum Thoughts, and I am signing off.